What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the greatest games to grace the first PlayStation. Number 20 Driver. Driver may have an infamously challenging tutorial, but that doesn't change the fact that everything that comes afterwards is a blast. The developers sought to transition big screen car chases into a video game format, something that they nailed for the time period. Players control an undercover officer investigating a criminal organisation, which has them pulling various jobs in big cities. From Miami to New York City, the game's locales were surprisingly open and non-linear by 1999 standards. Although its sequels would never reach the same heights, Driver delivered plenty of thrills to warrant them. Number 19, Spider-Man. I gotta say, you look just like me, except you're more angry back alley than friendly neighborhood. Though Spider-Man had starred in games before, his jump to 3D was a sight to behold. It follows Spidey as he tries to clear his name of a crime he didn't commit, all the while dealing with his famous rogues gallery. Boss fights with the likes of Venom, Mysterio and Doc Ock blew every comic fan's mind, as did swinging around New York City thanks to the hero's traversal mechanics. Long before Insomniac perfected the formula, developer Neversoft did a marvellous job of putting the Spider-Man experience in the palm of our hands. The studio's work acted as a blueprint for many games to come. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out saving the world. Number 18, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. That's me. My name is Abe. I was Employee of the Year. Now I'm dead me. During a time where 3D was the next big direction for games to go in, some developers still proved they could give players an engaging experience from a 2D perspective. The first game in the Oddworld series follows Abe, an alien known as a Madokan, as he tries to free his people from their vicious rulers. Through a combination of puzzle solving and stealth, Abe sneaks and leads his compatriots through traps, enemies and other obstacles. Each screen you conquer feels more satisfying than the last. In tandem with its art direction and graphics, Oddworld's gameplay made it unique to many platformers of the era. My test was completed. I expected to rest. Then the big face revealed the intent of my quest. Number 17, Ape Escape. Creating a game around an entirely new control scheme can be hard, but Japan Studio knocked it out of the park with Ape Escape. Sony released the first DualShock controller, defined by its twin analog sticks, after the PlayStation, and this game was the first to require it. The simple yet charmingly goofy premise had players tracking highly intelligent apes through time as they tried to change history. While the left stick controlled the protagonist, the right controlled his gadgets. Two joysticks may not seem like a big deal today, but it was groundbreaking back then. Thankfully, not only was it different, but a hell of a lot of fun too. Yes! Number 16, Parappa the Rapper. I see you getting better. Kick to the limit in order to get an out kick punch. While many of Sony's current day first party games provide sprawling worlds, rich narratives, and a cinematic style, some on its first system were decidedly weirder and sillier. Parappa the Rapper is a perfect example. The game's cartoonish, flat graphics look something that Nintendo would put out, and even went on to inspire Paper Mario. While its visuals gave it a distinct look, its gameplay also set it apart. Focusing on the titular rapping dog, players went through various performances as Parappa tried to impress his crush. It may not have been the first rhythm game, but it was the first to gain mainstream appeal. M-I-X, the flower into the ball. yes means you gotta try Number 15, Twisted Metal 2. There will be no safe zones this year, no places to hide. In the next 24 hours, the entire world will know my name. The first Twisted Metal was an action-packed joyride overflowing with mayhem. In a dystopian Los Angeles, drivers competed with their vehicles of death to see who would remain standing. But the sequel did every single thing better. Twisted Metal 2 included more weapons and a larger roster giving players even more variety in how they attempted to destroy their opponents. It also took its disturbing characters worldwide, adding levels that were both varied as well as much more expansive than what was in the first game. 
It was a joy to destroy by yourself, but it also offered plenty of replayability with multiplayer. Number 14, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Eternity is relentless, Razia. Set 1500 years after the original Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver follows the vampire Raziel, who is revived as a wraith to bring justice to the vampire lord who killed him. In 1999, it was a prime action adventure title. Its dark visuals and story suck players in, while its simple but fun gameplay and fantastic level design kept them coming back. Sadly, legal issues concerning the original series developer, Silicon Knights, led to delays and a lack of funding. This caused some elements to be taken out and the ending to be rushed. Even still, it's a remarkable game. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. Number 13, Spyro the Dragon. And he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. With the world's dragons cursed and turned to crystal, the task of freeing them landed at the feet of an underdog. Sony had a couple of platforming mascots to compete with Nintendo, and Spyro was one of the coolest. Gliding, stampeding and fire-breathing our way through fantastical levels was a joy thanks to its wonderful controls. As 3D platformers were growing to be more expansive with their level design, it was also great just living in the game regardless of how it was played. Everything about it helped differentiate Spyro the Dragon in what was an extremely crowded genre at the time. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh -huh. Number 12, Chrono Cross. Whether or not Chrono Cross lived up to the expectations set by the bona fide SNES classic that preceded it is up for debate. But the fact remains that it's still an incredible PlayStation JRPG. As Surge, players travel between their reality and one that is vastly different, attempting to find out why they split. There isn't much here that couldn't delight fans of the genre. A huge, engaging narrative, beautiful, enticing locales, 45 possible party members, plenty of secrets, and combat balance to be just challenging enough. It's no wonder reviewers praised it across the board. Number 11, Crash Bandicoot Warped. You lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience. Crash's first two titles were stellar hits, and Naughty Dog managed to close out its trilogy on an exceptionally strong note. With a gang of villains teaming up to take over the world, players hopped across time periods to thwart them. Every level burst with personality, due to the beautiful team up of pitch perfect design and an infectious soundtrack. Its difficulty level was right on the nose for platformer fans. It had us all frantically mashing buttons and directions to narrowly avoid its obstacles and enemies. Placed just right to trip you up. We wouldn't see this level of quality in Crash's mainline games for quite a while. Number 10, Vagrant Story. There were a ton of wonderful RPGs on the original PlayStation, and Square put out one of the best ones. Set in a fantasy world like many others, Vagrant Story stands out with its intriguing plot and cinematic approach. Players control Ashley Riot, an agent of the kingdom investigating a mysterious cult. The characters and story have fantastic depth, as does the combat. It blends real-time action with strategic elements, like a risk bar that fills when you fight and affects various mechanics. The narrative begs for you to keep digging, while the challenging fights will test to see if you're willing to keep up your pursuit. Number 9, Silent Hill. The game that launched a beloved survival horror series, Silent Hill was an impressive display on Sony's hardware. Although its distance fog may seem dated now, at the time, it helped create the haunted town's atmosphere. It was impossible to explore its mist-ridden streets or gloomy interiors without being on edge over what abomination would lunge out at us next. Konami wanted us to feel helpless and alone. As we took Harry Mason on the hunt for his missing daughter, that's exactly what we felt. Though the series peak wouldn't come until later, this was an excellent starting point. So you don't know anything either. Great. Number 8, Tomb Raider. 
You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? The PlayStation featured many games that would become influential stepping stones within their genres, and the action-adventure genre owes an awful lot to Tomb Raider. The game captured the sense of exploration, discovery, and the thrills of going on a globe-trotting adventure. At that point, that hadn't been seen much in 3D games, if at all. Its puzzles and traps put us in deadly, yet entirely exciting predicaments, and they were all encased within revolutionary level design. Among all the other notable gifts to the gaming world was Lara Croft, an endearing, fearless protagonist and a natural icon of the medium. Thank you. Number 7. Gran Turismo 2 Everything about Gran Turismo 2 still seems impressive today. Its graphics were the pinnacle of what the PlayStation could offer, even if it was towards the end of its life cycle. It boasted 27 tracks and more than 600 different vehicles, a spectacular amount for a game back then. However, more important than any of its bells and whistles, it was just genuinely great to play. Though similar to the first, mechanics were honed and refined to racing perfection. The game was fast, exhilarating, and the closest you could get to high-speed races without leaving your house. Number 6, Tekken 3. PlayStation fans got to enjoy getting ports of the arcade heavyweight Tekken for years. With the third entry, they got one of the best fighters ever developed, along with some great exclusive content. Tekken 3 was praised for many things, including a huge roster of new characters and addictive gameplay that held your attention with ease. Having it at home was a godsend. The satisfaction of bettering yourself to conquer the computer and friends alike was supreme, due to how much depth the mechanics actually had. The console exclusive content, like the Tekken Force beat em up mode, were nice bonuses too. Number 5 Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 During a brief time where every single one of us was obsessed with skater culture, Neversoft and Tony Hawk gave us the best sports game of the era. The first entry was certainly a hit, but the sequel was a juggernaut both in sales and acclaim. Every level is a flawlessly constructed playground, with tantalising objectives and pristine controls to help you chase after them. It felt incredible to play, and sucked up plenty of hours as we tried to perfect our tricks. It also had just the right level of absurdity, with a bunch of cheat codes and awesome unlockable characters. Number 4. Resident Evil 2 The first Resident Evil was a tense, genre-defining release, so it says a lot that its sequel absolutely outshines it. Uh, wait! Don't shoot! Get down! In the middle of being raised to the ground by zombies, Raccoon City as a setting is both well-defined and exceptionally frightening. Both plotlines, focusing on newcomers Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield, are filled with moments that had players on the edge of their seats and gripping their controllers in fear. That's because its visuals were so strong, its violence so alarming, and its scenarios so well-crafted that it was impossible to not let the fear take hold. Resident Evil 2 was another glorious step forward for the survival horror genre. Number 3. Castlevania Symphony of the Night Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Many franchises have entries that forever change them, steering them towards world renown while causing them to evolve for the better. For Castlevania, that entry was undoubtedly Symphony of the Night. Konami took the gothic horror the series was known for and injected some Super Metroid DNA. As a result, Dracula's castle became a huge puzzle to solve. The mechanics were swift and smooth, giving us quick paced combat and traversal. There were even a few RPG touches within Alucard's arsenal. Sticking with the 2D also made it age much better than most games on the system. With a game this great, it's not surprising it helped establish the Metroidvania subgenre. Number 2 Final Fantasy 7 Even if Square Enix hadn't chosen to remake it, Final Fantasy VII would still have legions of fans swooning over its greatness today. 
as you probably already know. It follows an ex-mercenary who helps an eco-terrorist group fight a greedy, world-killing organisation, only for his troubled past to hunt him throughout. It's hard to think of a feature that wasn't praised upon release. As the first 3D game in the series, its graphics were unbelievable. The depth of its story was almost unimaginably good, and the music revolutionised how vital a soundtrack could be to its game. That's not to mention its characters, who were kept in the limelight for decades through fan adoration. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Metal Gear Solid There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. A lot of franchises floundered during the dawn of 3D. Metal Gear was one that not only flourished, but influenced the entire video game industry. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. There weren't any other games around that told their stories as well as Metal Gear Solid did. Players were immediately grabbed by the espionage plot most of which was delivered through riveting cinematic cutscenes courtesy of creator Hideo Kojima's love for film. Its characters also felt deeper and more flawed than any other. That's all on top of its groundbreaking gameplay, which pushed stealth to the forefront. On a system surrounded by all-time greats, Metal Gear Solid's impact and quality can never be understated. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. What's your favourite game from Sony's original console? Share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more great videos every day. The same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.